What's going on everyone, this is Family Jewel 7 x and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Another Winter by Anamanaguchi Noguchi from the game Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I want to welcome you guys to another video in my 10 video tutorial series uh, based on the songs that you guys voted for for me to teach you guys how to play, give backing tracks, tabs, everything you need uh, to learn and play the songs that I covered in my first two years of uh, video game guitar covers on YouTube. In this video I'm going to be showing you some of the riffs that you're going to need uh, to be able to play this song. Uh, you can check the description, uh, that's where you'll find a zip file of the backing track, uh, the tabs, everything you're going to need. Um, but first things first, we got to tune up. Uh, all of the guitars in the song are in uh, drop C. It's one of my favorite tunings, um, so uh, I'll help you tune up. Uh, here are the notes. You've got C, G, C, F, A, and D. This is what they sound like. Alright, now that we're all tuned up, uh, let's remember why we are completely in lesbians with Scott Pilgrim. Here we go. Now the riffs in this song aren't too, too hard. Uh, it's just, you know, memorizing uh, where everything is. Uh, you know, it's a lot of melodic stuff, a lot of phrases, uh, there isn't a whole lot of shredding. Uh, so that's, that's kind of easy. Um, one thing to take into consideration is um, your, uh, your pickups in this song. Now, um, one of the things that I had a lot of fun with in this cover, I can't remember exactly which riffs I did this with, but if you use the, uh, the neck pickup as opposed to the bridge pickup, sometimes you can get a, um, a really cool, uh, here, let me show you. Um, you can get sometimes something that sounds a little bit closer to a, uh, like a MIDI 8-bit kind of deal. Um, and that's simply because you're gonna have a lot more mids, lower mids going on usually when you've got your neck pickup going. It's the difference between, um, and then maybe something like, I don't know, I feel like neck pickup, uh, kind of, uh, pays a little bit more, ho uh, homage to, uh, Anamanaguchi's style, uh, with our 8-bit stuff and stuff like that. Um, also, you'll notice, uh, some of the finger fingerings I did in the video are a little bit wonky, uh, that's simply because, um, Sometimes I like to uh, stay uh, conscious of the fact that different strings sound a little bit different, um, you know, for voices. Uh, but definitely find a, a fingering that works best for you. Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, just uh, it shouldn't be too, too bad, um, as far as I remember. Um, and then also, there's a few things I'm not going to show you. Simply, um, the chorus has an octave, uh, octave below it. I'm not really going to show you that. Um, or, uh, you know, how to play all the stuff in the key change. All you have to do is bump up your fingers. You'll find everything that you see, uh, everything that you hear in the tab. Uh, and if you have any questions about any of the parts, definitely let me know. Remember, uh, at the end, um, the way I have it tabbed out is... Uh, after the key change, I have the same um, same uh, lead guitar three run going under the chorus. Uh, there's a notated twenty uh, sixth fret. Um, just transpose that down. Um, on the original recording, um, I just tuned up my uh, Explorer for that part up to standard tuning so that you can hit uh, the highest fret. Um, just be aware of that. Uh, also, again, uh, just transpose it, rearrange it, uh, and find out what works best for you. But this is what works best for me. Here we go.
Now, there's one thing that I do want to uh, definitely uh, touch up on that I haven't in previous uh, tutorial videos is um, that, listen, I'm not perfect. Um, you know, not all of these songs are uh, note for note. 100% accuracy. I'm not, you know, an audio god or anything. So there are going to be some mistakes. Um, that being said, there are some things that I changed on purpose, but um, it's probably a mistake because I'm not perfect. Uh, but um, uh, this song in particular, I had a really hard time trying to uh, find um, where to put some of the notes, where the notes even were. Um, so a lot of this stuff might be different. Uh, definitely. Uh, uh, try to make your own arrangement of it. Use this one as a baseline and then say like, oh, hey, Jules, uh, I think you're completely fucking wrong and you should do this. That's totally fine with me. Um, so let's uh, let's move over to the rhythm guitar stuff. Uh, there's some really cool chords. Um, you know, there's uh, I decided to do a lot of the, uh, the cool sounding stuff in the rhythm guitar part. Uh, and I just kind of did the chords, the full chords of it. Now, what you got mostly here is um, you've got, for the intro, that is, you've got this uh, chord progression that sounds really cool with all the, the bass line under it and everything. You've got, uh, it starts with an A major. Remember, when drop C, so this position, uh, which would be B, is A. You got this A major shape. Kind of deal. A major. Um, you can add uh, the, the, the high uh, third. I think that is, right? No, fifth, sorry. Uh, you can add the fifth on top just by barring the whole thing. Uh, I choose not to because um, I, I don't really like doubling the fifth most of the time. Um, so you've got that. You move up to uh, this uh, C sharp minor uh, seven, C sharp minor seven. Uh, yeah, and you know, you can add that. If you do add the bar over here, definitely add the bar in everywhere else. Uh, you know, you're not really gonna hear it that well um, with distortion, but just something to uh, pay attention to. And then you've got this D major seven guy here, and then come up to a uh, regular old E. And so remember, I oh, fucking sorry, Facebook. Um, so uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you got an E. So again, you've got A, C sharp minor seven, uh, D major seven, and then E major. Kind of, you know, you can do those as power chords. Uh, you know, kind of jazzy kind of deal. Um. So let me show you how that works. Um, yeah, and you and you'll see. Um, oh yeah, definitely make sure not to. Um, if you're doing what I do in the uh, in the cover, which is bar this, make sure you're not hitting this guy in this chord, because that makes it a completely different chord. I don't even know what that is. It's a six. You know, it's it's weird. Um, but yeah. So uh, just make sure that you're not hitting your uh, D string, not your E string, and drop C. Um, and same goes for everything else, but okay, so I'll show you how that sounds with drums and everything. Now there's not really a whole lot going on uh, in the bass other than what's going on in the rhythm guitar except for two parts, that's the intro and the verse section. Um, the intro kind of uh, outlines just kind of like the root notes of the chords, um, but the verse kind of does uh, its own kind of thing, um, just kind of uh, interweaving into and uh, around the rhythm guitar. It's kind of cool riff. Uh, remember, uh, when I did the cover I was using a four string bass, uh, for this I'm using my five string uh, just because I've got it. Um, so just uh, ignore the top string, check the tab, shouldn't be too hard. Uh, so um, all I'm showing you here is uh, the intro and verse, and then we're done. Um, so here is the last few bass parts. And that's just about all there is to it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope I see you guys next week with another tutorial video. Remember, all the backing track, the tabs, everything's in the description. Uh, so please check that out. Um, also, uh, I hope you have fun. Good luck learning it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or send me a message. Uh, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but other than that, 
Have fun. I'll see you guys next week.